The Minutemen call themselves a civil defense corps whose mission is to scout the border for illegal activity. Equipped with night vision gear and radios, they work closely with Border Patrol to monitor the area near the river. The Minutemen believe that securing the border should be a national priority. Jim Barnes, Sector Chief for Texas Border Operations, believes the border wall is a step in the right direction. Okay, we're south of Granejo, which is the little town on the other side of the levee over there. Uh, in the past, we've had significant number of illegals that come from the river, pass over this south levee, run across the, the floodplain here, and up over that levee, and disappear in the town of Granejo. Somebody's in there to pick them up, or there's a safe house. Uh, but once they get in there, the Border Patrol cannot knock on a door or go in a residence. They have to catch them out in the street. Can you point to where the river is? The river is over behind us, about a mile and a half south of us. The border wall will be built just this side of the, of the levee and become part of the floodway. It'll be the north wall. But there'll be dirt behind it from the old levee. Where you see those uh, upright posts, they're getting ready to put the forms in there to pour concrete. Before the border wall was there, we'd see a lot of people. Uh, we've seen less this trip or, or this uh, monthly watch. Uh, but we're still seeing some. So there's still some that are uh, coming over here uh, through this area. But as the water, border wall is built, they'll probably have to move west in order to get away from it or figure out some, some way to get over it. And if they figure out some way to get over it, we'll set up watches there so that we can advise the Border Patrol when that happens. We've got to do something. And this is one way. The Minutemen keep lookout along a watch zone that covers over 40 miles. They have had multiple sightings and Border Patrol was able to confiscate narcotics based on a tip by the Minutemen. Until the border wall is complete, the Minutemen will continue with their border watch in this area. The Rio Grande, you can see the water right down there. See the light spot? Yeah. That's the river. Here it's probably uh, 25, 30 yards wide. We usually see uh, uh, just people that are coming over. A mile down or upstream, um, it's more of a, a drug crossing point. So this is a wildlife area over here. There's wild pigs in it. There's, of course, skunks, raccoons. Uh, it's a pretty nice place, except the illegals also use it to, to get in there and hide uh, until they can get across the levees and onto the main highway or into the town of Granajo. There are ways for a citizen of Mexico or Venezuela or Ecuador or Peru to become a worker in the United States. There's a process to be followed that starts at the U.S. Consulate or the U.S. Embassy. It doesn't start on the south shore of the Rio Grande. Do it legally, they are welcome. Do it illegally, they are not welcome. 